Yo, what is going on guys? Today I'll be showing you how to decompile .NET files, .NET programs. It's been a long time since I've uploaded a video, almost 9 or 10 months, and I'm deciding to make another video since my previous video on how to decompile Python files did pretty well. I 100 subscribers and a lot of views, and I just want to say thank you for all of that. And without further ado, let's get started. So the reason I'm making this video is that uh, I've seen a lot of people getting sent files and these files are grabbers that steal your browser info and discord info and they're made in C sharp using Visual Studio or like, just from a random github account github repository and I'm going to be showing you how to decompile these and find a webhook so I'm just going to download mercurial grabber which i know is a very famous one i've never used it so let's see how it goes search up in the tab here so it's by nightfall gt to download it I, I don't know how this works i think it's an exe or i have to build it using visual studio Uh, okay, it's an EXE, which is good. Let's run this. Maybe I have to save my antivirus. Defender, Microsoft Defender. I don't think so. Um, and I don't know. Oh, I can look here. I can so, I think I've decrypted, uh, decompiled a mercurial, mercurial grabber stub before by someone. And it actually worked, and I was surprised. So, let's just uh, grab IP and machine info. Hide, now let's keep the console open. So, that's the features set up. Okay, Discord web page. I'm just going to create our web pixel. We'll just create a temporary server. So we're setting integrations and let's just create a random web pick. Copy uh, this code web pick. Test it. But I think it's working. Okay. Anti VM, anti debug, exe name. Uh, hello. It's for a test and let's compile it. Let's build. So once that's building, the program that we're going to use. Oh. Okay, so we just disable the antivirus. Antiviruses do detect these C, C sharp. Uh, Grabbers. I'm just going to allow this on the device. So the program we're going to use to de decompile .NET files is called dnspy. So it's not on this link. It's here. It's a GitHub link. I'll put it in the description below. I'm going to click on that, and we're going to go to its releases. And let's. Close this Mercurial Grabber, go into releases, and uh, depending on which architecture your PC is on, I'm using Win 64 bit. If you have a 32 bit, I think it would be Windows 7, but I'm using Windows 10. Well, I agreed to Windows 11, it's kind of corrupted, it's got a mix of both Windows and Windows 11. So I'm gonna download Windows 64 81 MB, so let's give it some time. While that's downloading, let's run the file. So hello.exe. Run this. Here's the console. Success. Okay, it's got my IP. There we go. IP address here. OS info. Processor GP. Ah, uh, no GP. Sadly, memory. And you can see my drives. So now we know that this is working, our stub, 
we've got dnspy let's extract this to its own folder you can ex extract it with winrar 7 zip or just uh, the windows zip tool so let's go into the dnspy folder and uh, this is a portable version i don't think there's any installers i don't think there's any installers for dnspy so it's a portable version so let's run dnspy.exe So while that's running, let's get our .exe uh, ready Just delete the zips Okay, so here we go I have used dnspy before, that's when you see these two files Those are these So all you have to do is just drag the exe into the assembly explorer tab not here it's over here let's download it and you can see every architecture of this one. inside the hello we have the exe you can see the pe and you can see stealer so we're going to look into this an already web hook. but this is just it's just a private string web hook you don't actually see it so to see the webhook, you can just there's you have a you can search assemblies. It, this program is really good. You can search, you can run the file, you can literally go through every important library. Very easy to use. So let's search webhook. We, we can search webhook or we can search HTTPS. So we should find a Discord link find that you can see it search for all of the above you can see if it's a, a class a member or a string a field method you can search all those files in the same folder so all files you mean by searching these two selected files you select them files in the same folder is this is one folder there so you'd see everything in there so I'm gonna do in files in the same folder search up what the So, it's a private string webhook, let's just backtrace and see where it all goes, webhook content, where is this, so you can see this is how Mercurial Grabber stub looks like, you have the machine, what the browser info, the IP, what the program actually does, the webhook, how, what to do with the webhook, you can see the token, ID, email, phone number, still discord info, so whatever you selected, it will send those. This. So here, this is the webhook data. Using Mercurial Grabber, what to upload the forms and everything. So all we have to do is just look for the webhook. Simple. So uh, I don't really remember where the webhook is stored. So it's going to take some time. I think it's in the program section. Which, there you go. It's in the program section. WH for webhook right here. New webhook. This is the webhook. And if you go back to Discord, open our integrations, webhooks, SpideyBot. So let's paste this. Let's just paste the webhook we found first. Webhook found from stub. What is this? Server settings, integrations. Copy the webhook URL. The webhook. is the exact same and that's how you can get the webhooks and bust the skids out and just throw them you can delete their webhooks if you know how to come down below if you need help on how to delete these come down below if you have help with anything if you want to decompile something and you're not sure how to do it and make sure you like subscribe and share with your friends if you get 10 likes i will upload another video 
on anything that you want to comment so if you get any trouble i'll make a video on how to fix that and you can the comments can be like something to do with windows something to do with the program or discord you can even suggest me how to do some coding tutorials i'm not going to do a full coding crash course but i'm going to give you some coding scripts and how to code them and yeah that's how you do this and i'll see you in the next video goodbye My body hurts, can't stand, restart.